Rick Crosman, the science guy, is in the house with us. Yes. It seems like you're in the spirit, Rick. I am in the spirit. It's a great day for this activity. Yeah. Uh, you know, so in science, I'm all about science, but the heart has a historical reference. Why do we love the heart? Mm -hmm. And uh, Aristotle, back you know, in the seventh century BC, thought the heart was three chambered. Hmm. It's not, but he did believe that the heart is where all emotion goes through. Hmm. But if we flip this over, the heart is actually a muscle that has four chambers and oh. it pumps blood all through your body. Now this is an actual mold of a human heart. Wow. And it's pretty cool. This is a, a very neat model. And so I'm all about models with kids and uh, on Valentine's Day, uh, learning you know why, where the heart, uh, how it works. Mm -hmm. it, uh, and I have a video that so we, we sent up. I've had like 70,000 people watch this video to learn wow. about the heart. Wow. So um, a couple of things. First of all, we have to have a, a, a heart Valentine's handshake, George. It goes like this. Boop, boop. Oh, boop, yeah. Boop. Boop. <laughs> so, hopefully everybody at home tonight when you meet your kids or your spouse you're giving that heart uh, it's a great muscle it's a yeah. muscle like all muscles the more you use it the better it gets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if you don't use it it atrophies and gets fat on it mm. and so first of all you have a pulse so if you guys take your two fingers like this right. relax and lean over He's doing it the traditional way. Mm -hmm. I find out with kids, putting it right under your jaw. Mm -hmm. you, feel, you, have, you have a pulse, I hope? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I do have still a pulse. Yeah. So, so you think about it. I've had so many questions about the heart and blood. Mm -hmm. For a long time, if you look at my, uh, nurses love me. I had the veins that just pop. Yeah. And I always wondered, why are your veins blue? Huh. And, and I wrongly thought, oh, there's no oxygen because your blood has hemoglobin that carries oxygen to your body. Well, hmm. the folks from Versity are calling me right now. <laughs> right, right. I want you to come make a Come on in, I, sir. I donate blood. Uh, so this is not actually blue because I thought, well, what happens if you bleed in space where there's no oxygen? Will blood come out blue? Hmm. No. And science has filled a lot of misconceptions right. when you put it to the test. It's actually how light goes through your skin. Oh. And that causes that blue. But you're, you think about this muscle that pushes blood all to your body. It brings food. It brings oxygen. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a pump one way. Right. But have you ever thought about how does the blood get back to your body? Now, it gets back in a very interesting way. You have the arterial blood from your heart. Mm -hmm. Then you have the vena or the veins, the blood back to your heart. But there's no pump because it goes from arteries to smaller, smaller, to little, little capillaries. And if you want to see a capillary, look closely in the mirror on the side of your eye. I don't know if you can see it here. You'll be able to see these really small capillaries. <laughs> so that is a cool thing to do. But, but how do you get it back? Mm. Mo movement, I'm guessing. Right? Yeah. Movement, yeah. muscular yeah. movement. Mm -hmm. But if you just have a vein that's going back and forth, it's not going to work. So here's a little kind of fun experiment. So, uh, Randall, see that vein that's popped right there? Yeah, it's I do. a vein. I do. So that tells you the blood's going back to my heart. Okay. Put your finger on it. On the vein? That's yeah, a strong squeeze vein. Squeeze it uh, and put your other hand on a little further down. Okay. Oh, my other hand. Switch hands. Switch hands. Switch hands. Switch hands. There you go. <laughs> squeeze it tight. Squeeze it tight. Okay. Now look, that's still in there. See, you can see the blood is trapped. Wow. Now, if you let go of this one, let go okay. of that one, it's still trapped. Oh. Because it wants to go this way. We got to get into this demonstration okay. you brought for us, too. So here we go. So this is, uh, there's, your blood starts from your body. Let's go turn this over to a four-chambered heart. From your body, it goes into your right atrium. And you know why I'm using blue on this? Because there's no oxygen in mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. from there, it goes out back to your lungs. We'll put this, the lung, over here. So you got your blood going from your vena cava to your right atrium. Atrium, it means like air top. Mm -hmm. The bottom is the, vena, the ventricle. And then from here, it goes to the pulmonary vein. And then this is where the magic happens, where your blood exchanges oxygen. Mm -hmm. And then it comes back from your lungs over to, to your left atrium. And then from your left atrium through a valve down to your left ventricle. And so I have kids do this. And, and then from there, it goes to your body through your three aortas. A lot of it going to your brain. Your brain needs food and lots uh -huh. of blood. So just doing these four chambers, body, right, right, lungs, lungs, body, you know, is a great way to learn the parts of a heart. Awesome. Unless you want to take a sheep heart. Oh, oh. thank goodness. I thought it was a human heart. <laughs> no, this, right. is, this is a sheep heart. I really, you know, what I like about this, you see the fatty tissues around it because this is a muscle it needs it needs blood also to work mm. and so if you don't exercise it shrinks and you get lots of fat and then let's say you go out and shovel the snow mm -hmm. that is a heart attack because that is bad uh. stuff so you want to keep your heart in shape and uh, know your resting pulse